So yeah, uh, Miss Spike, first off, congratulations on your new film. Uh, and thank you for taking a little bit of your time to talk to me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for doing the interview. So you were awesome in this film. And your character, uh, Marla Grayson, is very intelligent. She's motivated. She's a survivor. And she's also very calculating. I mean, willing to do what's needed to get what she wants. So why do you think audiences are always fascinated with this kind of characters? like Marla and also like Amy Dune, uh, Dune from Gone Girl, which is, by the way, incredible performance. What do you think audiences are so captivated by these kinds of characters? You know, it's, it's interesting how many people say they were scared of me watching both this film and Gone Girl. And I think what is scary is that the characters themselves are plausible. You know, they're, they're believable and you could feel that you could easily be taken in by them. And I think it's always uncanny and unsettling when somebody who appears to be everything that we would trust and place our trust in actually has such a, a kind of dark heart and is so morally bankrupt. I think, it's, I think it is always frightening that. I think it's sort of frightening to children. It's the stuff of fairy tales as well, you know. Um, uh, it's you know, how somebody you trust, you, you're you wrong to trust them. Um, and I think that both those characters, that, you know, both Amy, as you mentioned, and Marla, they, they use the fact that they can convince and they can use the sort of traditional feminine um, qualities of trustworthiness and, and care and uh, kindness and all of those things and twist them and make a show of them. And underneath, they're none of those things. <laughs> I think it's... It is scary. <laughs> it was to me. So uh, I thought the film was very entertaining. I mean, actually funny at times, weirdly. But uh, at the same time, I, I, it made me stop and think, this is actually happening in the real world. So, you know, as far as the whole business of court appointing, you know, guardians of the elderly and the families being shut off. So was this topic one of the reasons you wanted to do this film? I mean, uh, and, and also besides being entertained like me, what do you want audiences to take away from your new film when they get to watch it soon at home? Well, as soon as I read the script, the first thing I did was, like you, I, I, I went and looked up. I thought, does this happen? Is this, is this what actually happens? And of course, I found horrific stories. And yes, you know, testimonies of family members who'd had their loved ones kind of completely, uh, you know, sort of guarded and, and almost imprisoned away from them and, and, and their money cleaned out and, you know, these astronomical bills for, you know, buying thermal underwear, you know, someone charging $600 an hour for shopping trips. I mean, it's, it's, it's daylight robbery, um, but sanctioned by the state systems. Um, and uh, I, I, but, but Jay Blakeson, our writer, our writer director, you know, he saw a news piece on this story and thought this is, this should be the subject of a drama. But if I tell the story from the victim's point of view, it'll be so upsetting. It's not entertainment anymore. So he thought maybe I can turn it on its head, write a comedy from the point of view of the perpetrator. And yes, I'll get the message across. I will unsettle people, but we're making something entertaining, something that'll be a fun ride, but also with a bitter taste. Yeah, it definitely worked. So I, I think you guys nailed it. Uh, so again, congrats on your new film. I thought you were fantastic. And by the way, Gone Girl is one of the best performances I've seen ever. So congrats on that too. Uh, and uh, stay safe and thank you for your time. Big fan. Thank you. Thank you. Adios. Lovely interview. Thank you.